fishing and um, heading up a mountain. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's one of my favorite native species of bird. It's a tomtit. You guys see him? Sorry about the camera work, I'm on my phone. The GoPro doesn't zoom in all that good. There he is. So that there is the third small, oh, he's back. Third smallest bird in New Zealand. They weigh about 11 grams. Absolutely teeny. He's on the fence now, they're monogamous. Now that there, the black and white one, is the male. And the female is pretty much the same coloration, but, but um, a bit duller, kind of like fantail colours almost. But yeah, I thought I'd show that anyway. Cute little tomtit, one of my favourite birds. Awesome. Well, I'm going up a really steep, well, doesn't look that steep on here, but steep mountain to uh, get to the top and look for some bottles and also look for some coins and stuff. I've got my, i got my probe, digger, detector. And what do we got? Oh, we got a bell bird. Oh, you, you kind of must have seen him flying through, but... I'm a bird nerd. You guys are going to have to deal with that. But that's pretty cool. Man, there's heaps of stuff cruising around. There's no point in me trying to show you because they're... Oh, yeah, there's the... F oh, and a grey warbler. Oh, see him flying around there? You probably didn't, but you know how I said that that tomtit was the third smallest bird in New Zealand? That one's the second smallest and it weighs in at about six and a half grams. So that's cool. I'm just standing here and I've seen three beautiful endemic species of bird. Um... But yeah, anyway, I better, I better keep walking, otherwise, otherwise I'll never get there. Um, but that's cool. That's very, very cool. But yeah, join me. Uh, we'll go find some, some bottles and some coins and stuff. I hope there's some jewelry as well. But yeah, wish me luck. We'll see you up there. If I get some good views on the way up too, I'll let you know because um, there's some beautiful views driving up. But um, I couldn't pull over. But I'll do it on the way down. But anyway, I'll see you down there, up there. Cool. All right. Look. And a little fantail just to say good day while I'm doing this. Oh, what a spot. You can see McCoy Island in the middle there, that little island you see. That's a bird sanctuary as well. And that's got kiwi and whatnot out there. Um, yeah, Lake Tata, uh, sorry, uh, Mount Tarawera out there. That exploded in 1886. Devastated the local communities. But what a beautiful view from up here. And I'm not even at the top. Pretty beautiful, huh? And we're going to go even higher now. So um, I'll enjoy this view for a little bit longer. And then I'll keep making my, my ascent. Beautiful. She was a cold one this morning, that's hence all that fog. Gorgeous. Cool. Let's carry on. This little fantail has been following me ever since. He's just cruising along. Just goes a little bit ahead of me every time. Oh. Oh yep, there we go. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, hey, woo! Look at like this. They're looking for bugs. He's looking for bugs that I'm staring up as I walk along. He's not being friendly. I mean, he might be being friendly, but his main objective is food. So he's waiting till I probably scuff up the ground a little bit, like this. He might go back. No, he's gonna prove me wrong. Oh man, that's an even better view from up here. Wow. Look at that Lake Rotorua. Gorgeous. Honestly, I don't even know how much further I've got to go. I think it's quite a way. I'm already naked. Probably put on too many layers. But man, it's cold down there. But um, yeah, if I see anything cool, I'll 
turn the camera on for you guys, but otherwise I'll I'll see it my first target. Cool. Sorry to show you a dead body, it's not that gruesome. But a dead possum is a good possum. Now everyone in everyone in New Zealand knows possums are a pest, but they don't realise how much. Um, it's estimated we have around about 50 million of those things in this country and they collectively go through an estimated 22,000 tonne of leaf matter every night in this country. So um, they're also eating our birds, our eggs, our lizards, our insects, all those type of stuff. Absolutely devastating for our native flora and fauna. Um, so those things back there are a massive problem. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I, for my job I do conservation work, um, so I'm quite passionate about that. Um, but yeah, uh, everyone's got to do everything they can to get rid of those things. Um, Predator 3 2050 is a goal, and it's an ambitious goal, but I'm hoping we succeed in it because it would make it would do absolute wonders for this place, for this country, if we were to get rid of those things. And rats and stoats as well. So get behind Department of Conservation, get behind not necessarily the government, but get behind the Department of Conservation. Support them. Help them, volunteer, do anything you can. Because people don't realise what a huge impact those things have on our wildlife, on our both flora and fauna. So um, yeah, sorry about the rat, but uh, I just thought I'd let you know a little bit about that stuff. I showed you the native birds, and then I can show you what's killing some of them. So um, it's good to see them not breathing anymore. I know that sounds horrible, but it's a necessary evil uh, to give our birds a better than 5% chance, because that's what they have at the moment. 5% survival rate for our native species in a forest where there is no conservation work. So not good at all. So help the Department of Conservation. Don't knock them, help them. But yeah, anyway, I should stop ranting now. Anyway, more hell to go. I made it. That five or 10 minute walk that I told you I was had to do, uh, yeah, that turned out to be like 45 minutes. I got so many layers on, I'm knackered. But um, what I'm gonna start doing I I'm going to start probing around in here with my probe. Most of the stuff that we have found here has been very, very close to the surface as opposed to being in a dump. So we've, we've found some pretty good bottles up here, but we have never detected, as far as I know, no one's ever detected up here before. So we'll definitely have a go around in the bush. Um, and here you can already see the rubbish everywhere, um, which is probably going to be a problem. And also there's a big tower thing up there. So hopefully that doesn't disturb my... My detector too badly, but um yeah. Anyway, I'll start probing around, and if I get anything exciting, I'll I'll let you guys know. <sighs> Need a break and some water. Okay, let's get some stuff. Well, I've got the light on because um it's pretty dark in here, but I've come across my first bottle. Sadly, there's nothing on it, but it's a beautiful old. You know what? I'm going to keep that. It's an applied top. Um. Crown seal, which is pretty awesome. I was expecting it to be. A poodity, but um, not to be, but yeah, I think I might hold on to that. If I get nothing else good today, that's going to come home with me. But I love that old top on it, and that gorgeous. Sweet. Well, I haven't probed very far. You can see my detector and stuff's just over there. I've just come along here and uh, found this broken bit here of a whiskey flask or something. But um, yeah, so um, this is where we got some good stuff before. So hopefully it um, carries on in this fashion and we'll get some good stuff. But cool, not a bad start. Let's carry on. Well, man, I am not finding anything. Um, which is why you're seeing this boring old green ring seal come out. Nice deep pontal there. Um, literally, this is, it's probably been an hour, hour and a half since I last talked to you guys. Um, I just got this one as well. Just a regular old ABC. Um, but I'm starting to lose hope for the bottles at the moment. Um, so I do have my detector here, so I might swing the detector around here for a little bit. But um, yeah, I, was, I had a bit more hope for this spot. Um, like I said, we have got stuff here from from a while back. Uh, we got some good stuff here. 
but uh, we'll just see what happens for the rest of the day, I guess. All right. Well, I'll keep probing for another five, ten minutes, I guess, and then um, and then I'll swing the detector around a little bit, see what I get. It's pretty trashy around here, so I'm not too hopeful for that, but fingers crossed again. All right. Anyone got any ideas on what that would have been? Well, it looks a bit like a glass, but it definitely was a bottle. I've never seen those almost scale-like design on them before. Anyway, just thought I'd ask. Sitting on the surface. Cool. And first signal with the detector after swinging for about two minutes is a New Zealand penny. Well, I was not expecting that to be so soon. Um, awesome. Oh well. We'll keep swinging for a bit, a little bit more hope for this than there is bottle detecting. Bottle detecting. Bottle digging. Alright, catch you guys on the next target. Got me a dollar. Um, I've dug a couple of signals since I last saw you, just a ones and two cent coins. Um, but I've just spotted something in front of my coil as well. Can you see the find? Not the bottles. Alright, found me some glasses. They look like prescription glasses. Get off, Leaf. Ah! Look like prescription glasses. No, I'm not going to put those on. But I'll take them with me. Um, the person who was using them ain't coming back for them, I don't think. But oh well. It's a find, I guess. Cool. You know what? There's a couple signals around here, right on the surface. That's where I got the dollar from, so. Let's sort together, eh? Hopefully there's some... Oh! Another dollar. Wicked. I'll just set that there. There was a couple more. Come on. Be oh, look at that. Two dollars. Oh. I only remember those signals, but let's have a little pinpoint around. Alright, I'll um, I'll check this area again with a detector, but I just got four books. Awesome. Not the best hourly, not the best hourly rate after all the work I did to get up here, but ah, still a bit of fun. Let's go. Another one here. Alright, let's see if it's another spendy. Oh, look at that. Gold in the hole, and it's two dollars. Yeah, raking it in. Sweet. Not bad. Oh, I've got a pair. There's another one over there. Can you watch its leg. I'll try and zoom in if I can. What they do is they vibrate their leg. Um, and that freaks out the bugs on the ground. It makes them move around and come to the surface so they can get them. Beautiful little birds. And then they get their bug and they beat it against logs and stuff. Don't know what he's got, but he's got something. Oh well, let's carry on. Okay, I might have found something cool. I haven't cleaned her up yet. Because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> While I'm out here. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. You guys are going to have to wait till I get home. Just giving it a light rub. Sorry. I'm quite excited about this. I don't even know what it is, and I'm excited. It looks old regardless. So, um, focus, man. I'm going to clean that up ever so lightly with a toothbrush, and I'll let you guys know what that is in the roundup. But that's got me excited. Just when I wanted to go home. Uh, well. That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> That's going in the keeper pocket. 
Um, I hope it went in there. There's not much stuff in there. But, um, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to be here for too much longer. I've just got the beckoning call from my darling. Um, and I'm going out for a hunt tonight with her brother-in-law, Jamie. Anyway, with my brother-in-law, her brother. Yeah. I'll see you later on. Cool. And more than likely, my last target for the night. Another New Zealand penny. Pretty munched up. But, um, yeah, let me just turn that light off. That's a bit better. But munched up. Started with a penny. Finished with a penny. Oh, well. Um, I'll swing. I'm not far away from my bag, but sorry. I'll swing to there. Uh, and otherwise, I'm going to call it a day. I've got a long walk back, and I don't want to get back in the dark. So, yeah. Um, if I don't see you before the roundup, thank you for coming along, and I'll. See you. Sorry, I see another tom tit over there. So cute. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I'll swing on the way there. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'll see you at the roundup. Peace. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. I'm doing the YouTube thing. Um, but also, Crispy Kiwi, he gave me another awesome, amazing shout out. And since then, I've gathered a few more subscribers. So once again, my bro, thanks so much for that. I really do appreciate that. Uh, means a lot now he's also sending me up a bit of a gift as well which i'm quite looking forward to um i already know what it is but i'll tell you what when i get it i'll do a video of the unveiling and then if there's any double ups or anything like that i'll probably do a giveaway hopefully that'll that'll perk some ears up but yeah um looking forward to that package to come again thank you very much bro really really appreciate that shout out once again um and yeah look forward to your package and um yeah, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the roundup. See you later. G'day. Welcome to my roundup from my mountain mission. Um, not too much to show for it, but had a good time nonetheless. Uh, so that is our kind of junk coins, I guess. Why are you not focusing? Um, tens, ones, twos, all that kind of jazz. Um, got four, six bucks and spinnies, which was completely unexpected. Not many people go up there. That was a little coin spill. Um, my first signal detecting was, of course, this NZ penny, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I thought this one was toasted, but if you look at it, um, that's been done on purpose. What do you guys reckon that could have been used for? Does anyone have any idea? Because there's no way that was accidental. It's perfect. Um yeah pretty different eh if my blooming phone would play ball but yeah so a strange little well, it's almost like a key you know what i mean but anyway who knows um this thing here now i haven't been able to find much on this but that is gorgeous isn't it so i might put the light on for this actually there you go my phone just does not want to play ball today um, but it goes that way. There's a little crest up the top. Uh, there you go. Crest up the top. I can't make out what it says. I can't make out what any of that says. But I don't care. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this thing. But if anyone does have any information about it, please let me know because I'm dying to know what this is about. Um, but yeah, so that was definitely by far my favourite find for the day. And then of course we got our one and only bottle. And the reason I kept it, there's nothing on it, but the reason I kept it is that lip. Look at the diff, look at the imperfections in that lip. That's gorgeous. That's quite an old crown top there. So um, beautiful bottle, even though there's not really any embossing or anything like that, but still happy nonetheless. But yeah, that's my little hoard from um, up a big, big mountain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cheers for that, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next hunt. Sweet.